Some of the major drawbacks of chemotherapy are the undesirable side effects, such as hair loss, anemia, and bleeding. This is due to the fact that cancer drugs are damaging healthy cells that are fast growing as well as the cancer. One way to circumvent this problem is to discover new drugs that are targeted to cancer cells only. In breast cancer, 20 to 30% of patients have an overexpression of the HER2 kinase. This has helped pharmaceutical companies to develop drugs such as lapinitib, which is a HER2 kinase inhibitor, to target specifically to HER2 kinase receptors that are expressed on cancer cells. HER2 kinase is a receptor belonging to the triosine kinase family of enzymes. To understand how this targeted cancer inhibition mechanism works, students must learn and understand how enzymes function. SC3D's Enzyme Starter BioKit is designed to help students understand basic enzyme mechanisms and run experiments to simulate how pharmaceutical companies use enzyme arrays to screen for new drugs. In this lab, we will use horseradish peroxidase, HRP, as a model enzyme to develop bioprinted enzyme arrays and quantify enzyme function using colorimetric assays. HRP catalyzes the oxidation of the chromogenic substrate, ABTS, using hydrogen peroxide as a source of oxygen to produce a blue-green reaction product. Materials needed for this experiment are calcium chloride beads, alginate powder, ABTS tablets, horseradish peroxidase lyophilized powder, diluted hydrogen peroxide, and buffer. Follow the instructions included in the enzyme starter bio kit to prepare these three syringes, calcium chloride syringe, alginate HRP syringe, and ABTS hydrogen peroxide syringe. The first step in this experiment is to print calcium chloride droplets, followed by printing the alginate HRP solution that gel upon contact with the calcium chloride to encapsulate the enzyme. The next step is the addition of the substrate in co-substrate solution, a mixture of ABTS and hydrogen peroxide. The last step is the incubation of these enzyme arrays for the reaction to progress and lead to color change. Now, to print the enzyme array, first load the calcium chloride syringe. Print the calcium chloride array. Next, load and print the alginate HRP array. Finally, load the ABTS in hydrogen peroxide syringe and print the array. Transfer the petri dish onto the lab bench and take pictures immediately. After approximately 10 minutes, the bioprinted arrays should have turned blue-green in color. Don't forget to subscribe to SC3D for more bioprinting videos. Purchase the Enzyme Bio Starter Kit at sc3d.com shop.